Okay, this uh, furnace is going to be changed out here. It's a Lux Air. This used to be a. I can tell it was a uh, consolidated furnace. So they panned it off. It's going to be changed out to a ream. This is going to be the back of the furnace. We're going to change it so I have access to this thing. You have to actually crawl over the furnace to get access. No drain pan under the horizontal coil. What a mess. What a mess. The uh, furnace is hung by duct straps, so it's it's uh you can see where the Transitions panned off the alteration to the indoor coil there. But this is what happens when you have an earthquake. Yeah, man, we're all done. Nice and sound. So we're going to fix that. Get her all set up here. Here's the old 310 evaporator. Can you imagine selling somebody a new furnace? Look at that drain pan. An old aspen coil. Here I have a uh, ADP all aluminum coil. It's uh, no more copper. It's the all-in-one evaporator, horizontal evaporator. You see the expansion valve inside there. Nice looking unit. It's going to be matched up with the Ream single stage 50,000 BT furnace. You're looking at a day night cool cube, 19, probably 74, that was hooked up to that system up in the attic. So it was a cornucopia of installs. Day night condenser is gone. So I'm going to run new line sets in here. It's going to be a uh, three quarter and three eighths. It's raining. It's wild. The tools are under cover. Under this cover here, they're all probably rusted, but uh, what are you going to do? But uh, the lines are going to go in. And we even have a shopping cart. We're miles up in the hills away from a store and we have a shopping cart. Yeah, we got rained out.